like the the key key points of this sit down is one do not and i repeat do not scratch your bun color mine is the key like i applied it all over my body and thirdly the hi guys oh my god okay welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Gane. if you're all about vlogs being your true self please do subscribe and just join the family so i did i decided just to do a mukbang <laughs> um i bought jack in the box it's my first time ever trying it it's a very huge huge very huge this is fanta I already opened it and I got I got fries, like French fries and I thought it was supposed to come with a deep I don't know and then I got a fish sandwich. So this is what I'm having while I tell you guys about oh my god no sauce nothing Anyways, while I tell you guys about um, my chicken pox experience, I hope this video will come out good. It's so hard to talk while you're doing mukbangs. Like, I don't understand. How do people do it? No ice. I just said no ice. It's so huge crazy okay so um like you guys saw on my last video on my last vlog the plan was that we go to Cape Town on holiday with my boyfriend but that couldn't happen because four days before uh, four days before then I got chicken pox and how it started was that I I was not in a good mood I remember that Sunday Sunday evening to Monday morning I was feeling a bit sick um, I just didn't know what was wrong I was just not myself and I thought maybe it's because of change of weather that I'm back home because it was extremely hot when I was back home by that time right so that's what I thought initially and then I found I started having like a small I saw like a small pimple but this pimple was filled with water and I was like oh, what kind of a pimple is that so then, so and then I, I remember saying this to my boyfriend that I don't I don't know why because the water would like come out he was like no maybe I'll pop it I'm like I don't pop my pimples I don't even if you guys if you guys realize that I would leave my pimple like that even when I'm taking vlogs it's always like that because popping pimples will never mark I don't pop pimples I'm like no but I don't pop I don't pop um, my pimples anyways this was Monday and um, and then he's like yeah it should be fine and then the following day was a Tuesday I remember I, I was with my mom and I asked her she's like no you're just stressing you're on medication it's bound to happen I'm like no man so after I took a shower I saw the same pimple here I'm like huh the first thing that came into my mind was like I'm having an allergy reaction because I remember when I was young I I am allergic to not really to some trees like I my sinuses get aggravated and I remember having those similar spots on my body so I was just like ah, I think it's an allergy reaction because at some point I was under the tree for a long time that weekend I think yeah so um Fast forward, um, after I finish taking a shower, I'm applying my I'm applying my lotion and then I see one again this side. I'm like, huh? I'm like something is wrong. So I'm like, okay, you know what, let me just go to to the pharmacy to just get something for the allergy medication and all that. When when I was on my way, no ways. I don't know what made me look this other side and then there was one again this side I said ha huh. I looked in the mirror and I'm like why does it feel like I'm having small spots coming out I rushed to the doctor immediately and he was like chicken pox I was like no I was so confident that I've had chicken pox I can't be getting chicken pox again so I was like no I've had chicken pox so 
I don't know. I think this is a failed mukbang because it's so hard for me to talk while uh, eating. Um, and then she, and then he was like, um, he gave me medication. He's like, no, this will help. But he was a bit concerned with the big one. He was like, but the big one, because it would um, ooze water and then it would crust over and then it would ooze water again and crust over. Yo, 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 yo. It's a king. It was just it's not good. So he's like, okay, no, this will help with the the spreading of it because i think he didn't want me to be stressed because it's like i've had chicken pox so i think he didn't want me to be stressed like no it's fine you'll be okay that was my doctor so from then he was like if it doesn't get better go see a dermatologist i was like i'm on acne medication now my face is like yo guys it was just like so bad i was just so stressed no more holiday i'm stressed about my face it's the chicken pox when i leave marks like you know how when we were young chicken pox like you get these marks and all that so immediately when he was like i should wait he's like why should i wait for three days why not go to the dermatologist now and mind you back in bots i cancelled my medical aid because i'm not there right so obviously he was like okay obviously when you see the dermatologist it's gonna be i'm like i don't care i just want to make sure that this stops before it gets worse i don't want it to aggravate too much to spread you know when i went to another doctor who i thought was a dermatologist but is not a dermatologist he was like this is chicken pox i'm like but i've had it it's like okay go to the pharmacist and not on and me more i go there he's like you have ch this is chicken pox he's like this is chicken pox i'm like i've had it he's like okay fine even if you've had it it's coming back i'm like wow yeah i was so stressed so he gave me the and i showed him the pills that my doctor gave me he's like no these pills are really good and he gave me the cream of the same brand of the pills like i apply on the big one and he gave me calamine I went back home, what's it again? Now I was in the evening, I was starting to feel sick. Yo, guys, I was starting to feel sick. And then that night, yo, that Monday night it was horrible. I had a sore throat, I didn't want to eat, I, w I had a fever. Yo, guys, I did not sleep that night. I was waking up, going back to sleep like chicken pox as an adult is crazy i think as a kid it's better because you know even though you feel it is not as bad i don't know guys and my mom was like apply color man all over your body i was a ghost for the for five days i was applying color man on my face on my hands everywhere even when the spots are not appearing she would be like apply apply that night was the worst I didn't want to eat i but i had to eat because i had to take the pills everything was just you it didn't feel like it's my body and i was just like i was literally okay this morning and now it's in the evening and i'm not feeling well it was so crazy and it, i was like it's alive like anything can happen anytime and when it happens you're just like you're taking a bag but then also you're just like I don't know if this is gonna be a mukbang. Hmm. I'm gonna sleep now. Hmm. Well, um, I just had to take like a tissue because there's no napkin, no sauce. I could have sworn I put the sweet chili dip. So I don't know what happened. But anyways, now I'm gonna. I'll be forced to eat uh, dry fries. And I really cannot eat while I'm talking to you guys clearly. Maybe I'll just have to drink. Mm. So, um, that night was horrible. The following day, you know, I could feel the... Uh, what, do you, what do they call them? the spots coming out like my chest because i had like a, a t-shirt on when i was sleeping and it had like a design so it was rubbing on my chest i mean it felt like i was scratching one thing that you should not do when you have chicken pox no matter how itchy they are no matter how badly you want to do it do not itch because once you do not sorry do not scratch because once you scratch that's the end you will it will take a long time for them to clear up and you'll have marks to deal with at the end of the day 
the only mugs that I had to deal with myself was the big ones, you know, that's the only thing. So it felt like I was scratching and then they came out. I had like the beads, like the box braids, the beads. If you can um, pay attention to my last vlog, I cut, the beads are no longer there towards the end of the vlog because I cut, I took the scissor the following day. I cut those beads because I was tying them down again. And then it felt like the beads were creating like a uh, scratching effect on my back. So they spread all over because of how the, the beads were burned. Yo, the following day I took a scissor, I cut those beads, yo. Day two, still no appetite, sore throat, still painful, still feeling super sick, uh, not even being able to sleep properly. But day two was much better in terms of me sleeping. I got to sleep a bit better during the day, and the pills were now starting to work because they spread that night and that morning, and then that was it. So the pills really, really helped. I'll put the name down of the pills. They really helped me in terms of that. So day two was not so bad as compared to day one, but still I was just like, I want to be myself. I want to, I want to be okay. And I was so concerned about my marks, like the marks that are going to leave, you know? So putting on color, mine being like a ghost for five days helped because I couldn't see like on my face cause they were there on my face but guys color mine helped and i got to discover what color mine also helps when you have pimples cause it dries you it dries your face so i remember the time when i washed my face they were there but not so bad and i would put color mine i would sleep with color mine i would i was in color mine i used two bottles two and three bottles one small bottle and two big bottles of color mine one thing that i was grateful for was that i was home i was with my mom i had my friends and family you know talking to them just at least being home i was just like imagine if i was this sick when i was in if i was in doha it was gonna be like a different kind of thing you know so even though i was not okay even though i was a bit hurt because we had planned like a 10 day uh, vacation to Cape Town everything had to be cancelled we, we still were still trying to get the money back for the flight tickets which I don't think hopefully that will happen but the case with the hotel we got we got the money back so it was just one of those things where you know not everything will go according to your plan and as much as I was a bit down I was super super grateful that I'm thankful that I was home that was like the highlight of my trip in back in bots like when I was home I got sick I was home you know and my mom was there forcing me like making sure that I have food even though I don't eat just before she would go to work she would make sure okay at least there's something for her to eat you know so I would say the the peak was day one and then day two was better and then gradually as the days um, passed by I started to feel like myself again and I started that's when I my obsession with aloe vera started because color mine works as a drying effect and then afterwards to deal with like your your marks your scabs and all that I would apply aloe vera and it helped it work like this magic it really really helped even with the big one here it helped me a lot so if that was my experience with chicken pox, like the, the key, key points of this sit down is whoever comes across this video and has chicken pox as an adult, one, do not, and I repeat, do not scratch your body at all. Like try not, it's worth it. Second, color mine is the one and color mine is the key. Like I applied it all over my body. And thirdly, the pill, I wouldn't say the pills, because, okay, the pills work, but as soon as you feel you get to that sign, the pills will work 100%. But if you've gotten chicken pox for like three days and you want to try the pill, then highly unlikely. Maybe they will, but if it has already spread, because they helped with stopping the spread of the, of the spot. So it was just one of those things where I was just like, oh my God, but... Like I said, I was home, I was with my family, I was with my mom and my boyfriend, so that was really nice. Although my boyfriend was, I was just like, maybe you're gonna get it because he's never got, um, I almost said COVID. He's never, he has never had, he has never had COVID actually, but uh, that's not my train of thought. But I'm saying uh, he has never had chicken pox, but um, he didn't get it. Even though I was with him the day on when the, when the sign started, which is supposed to be the day at it's like very easily spread out but my mom didn't get it as well but i think because she once had it when she was older that's what she said 
Um, okay, guys. So I just decided to do this, just uh, sit down and just tell you guys about my chicken box uh, experience and what really helped. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, sit down. I just I don't like sit downs really because I feel like already i'm being vulnerable by just showing you guys my every day or by vlogging here and there now sit down i have to be so out there with, with you guys but slowly we'll get you'll we'll get used to it and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and my next vlog is just gonna be nice please do stay tuned about the vlog it's probably gonna be out in like a week or two i'll try my best so yeah, bye.